Come on. Where's the coffee, bitch? Get it together. I get need it. to get some coffee in my cup. Six, six, seven, eight. Whoa! Pop the jam. Swap it up. Yo, I I'm Cardi B. No, you're not. Cardi, 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 No, no, no. You're, <laughs> listen to me, okay? She does she. You got to do you. I don't want you to pretend to be somebody else, especially Cardi B. Work damn straight. <laughs> and then get up in here. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? I might start stripping. Because that's how Cardi got herself out of an abusive relationship. You're not in an I'm abuse. I'm in, in with only gutter balls. In yes, I am. a supportive, loving relationship with your soul mentor slash sister slash spirit guide. Let's do it again. Guess what I don't have to do, though? Get those fat injections that she got. Because I got all the junk in the trunk, y'all. Because I've been whopping up the jams, whopping up. I ain't Cardi B. I'm Marissa Wobbler, bitch. And I'm coming to you hot. And fresh delivering pizzas to your cooch and to your butthole. And working that hot cheese. What is hot cheese? <laughs> What is hot cheese? That's what comes out of your ding dong when oh. I work it back and forth. Hey, can you put me up? I still can't hear myself in these cans, you have y'all. <laughs> reach over. Follow the cord. That's what she said. Follow the cord. Number three <laughs> is <laughs> you. <laughs> Number three is you. They're labeled. There we go. They're labeled. That's the good stuff. What did I just say? Because I didn't hear any of it. I don't know. Let's All move right. on .org. All right. What I will say is your raps are too peppy for Cardi B. She likes to rap real slow. Cardi, up a Cardi. Like you can't <laughs> understand it really. No, you can understand it. You can understand every lyric if you know what the words mean. <laughs> oh, crap. But it's, oh, that was pretty good actually. That I've was. been practicing that for 24 hours. I know you have. I know that is By the, the literal way, truth. By the way, I didn't know that Cardi B existed until <clears throat> yesterday morning at uh -huh. 9 a.m. So this is all 24 hours of deep study and deep mm -hmm, dives on mm -hmm. her. And what are the lessons we learned from a Cardi B life? Oh, she be living hashtag authentic life. Mm -hmm. She's not apologizing for nope. shit. She's like, yeah, this is what I did. You know, this is, this is where I, I came Absolutely. from. Absolutely. And and I love that about her. And I love that you know, yeah, she's like the most famous person in the world right now, right? She'd be given Beyonce say a run for the her most money. famous person in the world. Everybody wants a piece of that. A lot of people want a piece of it, right? But it's not changing her. Right. Because she's just living her authentic truth. Yeah. And that's what we've been trying to do, I feel like, this whole year, Liz. Tell them what they're listening to. What's up, Wopsters? This is Marissa Wampler. I am of indeterminate age, <laughs> but I am enrolled in Marina Del Rey Public High School in the STARS Academy, a.k.a. SPAZ Academy, a special learning program for advanced bitches <laughs> okay. who be trying hey, to get keep it paid. Classy. Nobody's paying you at school. <laughs> Yet. Your job is school. Yet. One day you'll get paid. Uh, but this is my senior podcast project. Mm -hmm. The uh, the the. Masculine you were say tones, dulcet tones, and I appreciate that. The masculine tones that you just heard are Miss Charlotte Shardog Listener. That's I. That is I. My soul dog, my muscle teacher. I said I need some coffee. Yep, you should have brought your own. God There's damn it! Lots of coffee options on the way from Marina Del Rey. <sighs> At anyway. any rate, so this is my senior pod podcast project. I'm going to be peeling back the layers of Marina mm -hmm. Del Rey mm -hmm. and seeing, you know, who's. Who's uh, making some waves? And who do we have today? And today we have a lovely gentleman mm -hmm. who is very Natalie dressed. That's a word from the 1950s. Natalie. Natalie. It means somebody who's very well turned out. He's How does it in spell? a bow tie and spats. Are these spats you're wearing? Nah, hey, nah, hey, <laughs> nah. These here, yeah, these are spats. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dr. Gregory Cotton. Hey, now. Nah. Dr. Gregory Cotton. Who is our choir teacher. Yeah, I am the choir teacher. <laughs> now, wow, that is a rich, deep voice. Isn't that? Reminding those me. are some dulcet tones. Um, That's the truth of it. I'm sorry to jump in here, ladies, but I got to get a little something off my chest, okay? <laughs> 
for the people at home who have not seen me, I mean, y'all too can see me, but I assume you have listeners who do not know what I look like. It should be known that I am a white man. <laughs> That's what you do. White as the That's day right. is long. And I am a white man with the, bla- the voice of an old black man. That's right, and the hair of a black man. <laughs> yes, that's I gotta right. say, there may have been in your heritage somewhere. Some. Way. A, have you done me 23 and me? I have not done me 23 have and me. D- have you done who do you think you are? Have you done Hootie and the Blowfish? Have because you done- <laughs> he may be related to you. Yep. I did do that off brand one, who I think I is. <laughs> and oh. it was, it didn't t- t- tell me how much. Submit, how 23% you submit, Pan Asian. How do you submit to who, 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 <laughs> who I, I think I, I is? is. Mm-hmm. They got a website. You, you just get but, like an old piece of gum you chew and, that's you, right. and you send it on in you and some gum, <laughs> put it in an envelope, and then they run it through the DNA lab, and they tell you who you think they, who they don't think you is. is Dr. Right? Cotton, it is a real pleasure. It I is know a pleasure. You've been traveling with the solo and ensemble chorus. Yes, my The magicals. All, yes, all over the, su- the winning Southland. Awards. The winning Southland awards. of California, that is. Winning awards, and I know this, you, you left a rehearsal. You left Tracy Peterson in charge. That's yeah. right. Uh, for an hour while you mm-hmm. came over to the library. And Tracy we really Peterson, appreci- she's appreci- in charge. You yep, know? she's in charge. What a what a talent she is. Truly. Mm-hmm. And you know, and it's in and so many people that you've groomed. Several have gone on to American Idol. Yes. yes. Right. Who have a couple went on to The Voice. That come went on to The Voice, mm-hmm. and this is so we're getting a lot of attention now mm-hmm. to Marina Del Rey Public Kessler saying, "What is it in the water? Right. What is it right. in the? Is it the right. sunshine?" Is it the surf? And we say it is one thing. It's the cotton. They got cotton in the mouth. It's the (laughs) cotton. Cotton in the mouth. That's right. That's right. Can I say, it feels so good to be finally recognized because as a young white man on Broadway (laughs) with the voice of an old black man, there weren't a lot of roles for me. That's right. You know, there aren't I a lot of roles. was in the final two for Jonathan Lawson's Rent when it first came Is out. That I did right. not know that. The final yeah. two for which but, role? Oh, uh, Roger. <laughs> for Roger. That's, That's right. right. Got it. And they were, so now tell me this because you would submit sometimes of, of, of an audio <laughs> file of you singing. Yes, ma'am. And then you'd show up. And mm-hmm. there you are, mm-hmm. the whitest skin. I mean, you're so white, I can see your veins. Yes. And yet you got this kinky, curly, like almost a f- tiny, f- like tight fro. Mm-hmm. It's tight. And it's you're not tight. albino. No, I am not an albino. I am a white <laughs> man. Yes. My mother is white. My father is white. <laughs> but I. That's right. Somehow the, the the good Lord saw fit to give me the voice. So. But you also grew up in the church, largely in gospel churches. That's in, true. In, in and black that's churches. It. Black and churches, that's it. yes. Because your, your father, who is a white white man, is also a white minister, <laughs> minister. in he an is. AME church. That's right. And one of the largest AME churches here in in the in Orange County. Is that County? right? Is yes. that right? Yeah, Spicy Church. So that it's a spite. You call it a spicy church. I don't. I, that is the name of the line of churches that it gets spicy. It's sort of supposed to be like an accessible version of the Lord. Yes. You know? Oh, I yeah, love they that. They have drum sets and mm, like props and yeah. lots of oh, a lot of like dry ice, a lot, lot of, of wigs, a lot of wigs, shocking lot of, amount of wigs, a lot of children like. Chorusing down the aisle. Oh, God, that yeah. sounds good. A lot of da- mm-hmm. interpretive dances. Ooh, I could really get into something like that. Yes, it's if you have any Christian. pancake breakfasts. We could. If you do that, I'm in. You're in. Mm-hmm. See, I'm in. It's good to know. This is how the, you bring the Lord to the people based on what it is that they want. That's right. Know? Now, you're not allowed to bring your religious bent into the Marina Del Rey, although you sneak it in. Sometimes, sometimes. I sneak it right in. You sneak it in mm-hmm. because a lot of the choral productions you've done yeah. have been religious themed. <laughs> Jesus right. Take Christ. the Wheel was the theme of right. last, it was of all, last year's mm-hmm. spring performance. It was all Negro spiritual <laughs> versions right. of Carrie yeah. Underwood song, <laughs> which That's I thought right. was so powerful. It was really powerful because it covered a lot of bases. That's when Tracy Peterson sang "Wait in the Water," ooh, "Wait in the Water," again, another white woman. Yes, you know who sounds 
after working with you like mm-hmm. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's right. And that's going to serve her well. She's right. what, 5'1", 98 pounds, <laughs> but she sounds she like, like Aretha Franklin. And I don't know where that resonance is coming from. Mm-hmm. You know, that's something you really have to work on. That's soul. Well, you're born with that. usually with a tiny body like that, it's a real teeny sound coming mm-hmm. out, but not with her. Not hey, with nah, her. Hey, nah. Hey, not with her. Hey, nah. nah. Hey, nah. And let me talk just briefly. And again, we're going to we're gonna do a deep dive on Dr. Gregory Cotton. But I wanted to just also say, mm-hmm. I'm loving the jackets you guys got this season. Now, every oh. season they and get... And women are wearing jackets, too. The women are wearing jackets. It's like the pink ladies from Greece. Mm-hmm. And it's a satin jacket. And it says, the cotton players, mm-hmm. hey, now. Right? Yeah. yeah. And a, and a like an, a, and a treble note. And mm-hmm. and every year it's a different color mm-hmm. and and it's very prestigious to wear mm-hmm. these around. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're they're like the Letterman jackets from the <laughs> deep 1950s, you know. But that's right. Times have changed. It ain't cool to play football no more. Now nope. it. Now not, it's cool. Not no more. To be a <laughs> cotton player. All right now. So and you know and people are trying to get those on the black market. Yeah, you know, I saw yeah. one on eBay for seven thousand. <laughs> seven thousand dollars, Lord. Yeah, well, after one now. of the contestants, at American Idol wore one right, while performing. Right, right. That's what you and know. That was in the yeah. seasons before. Exactly. Yeah. She was exactly. another. She was a white woman, Katie Flickerton, and she sang uh, "Follow the Drinking Gourd" on that's, American. That's Idol. right. <laughs> God, really, wow. just some some amazing stuff coming out of there. So we're going to be sitting and chatting with Dr. Gregory Cotton. Mm-hmm. So you know, get I feel like pour when yourself you speak, some mint tea, and hopefully there's some songs are coming. I but hope. Uh, I hope. with whenever you speak, I feel like a like my like a reverberation in my yep. in my loins, and that's not a Whoa. sexual thing. It's nah. like it just the the note that you're hitting. Is and the down, vibrato. It's yeah. down almost mm-hmm. where your anus and yeah. your vagina connect. Right. That's called the taint. <laughs> right? It's hitting yeah. us in a taint level. Call that yeah. the taint sharp. <laughs> the taint sharp. Exactly. Get it at taint sharp. <laughs> So we should get into Let's hot, get into some hot, hot topics. Hot topics. Hey, and if you want to sing us into this, please, whatever you feel, if you feel a song coming, <clears> she <throat> can mm-hmm. she can give you some beats, and you can just you know just feel whatever you want. Yeah, I'll take a beat. Why not? <laughs> what beats are you referring to? <laughs> play something. Well, I was gonna, gonna play gonna a song. Go ahead, play a song. We got the hot topics coming to your life. We ain't got the hottest of topics And I'm coming to you all right now Oh, welcome to Hot Topics! I wow. didn't catch that last run. Coming to you hot right now, yeah. I think it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. This is Hot Topics, where we just share, you know, what's going on with yeah, us in yeah, our personal yeah. lives. Yeah, now this isn't necessarily what's going on with the choir. What It's kind of whatever is going on in your world that you feel like you need to share. What's your week about? Yeah. You know, what's yeah. your vibration what's your this week? About? What's your day you about? Know? Exactly. Liz, you want to start us off? Uh, Sure, yeah. <clears throat> um, yesterday, I uh, left my pup tent in... Um, Right now I'm in a uh, like a small park, uh, Pan Pacific Park over there. Well, it's spring has finally sprung. Thank God. So you've taken and the- yesterday was a real scorcher. Right, right, so right. So I decided to I needed to be near the water because you know you got that cool breeze and right. um, anyway a seal came no ashore and stole all of my. Everything I collected. Sardines and everything? Yeah, everything I collected. So I was wandering around without any form of ID or payment, and I had to barter services. I won't share what services I bartered. Uh, for, now for breakfast. That seal had to cross like three different major roads to get there. Are you sure it was a seal that took your stuff? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. There were seal tracks. Um, there were seal, there were seal uh, awful, awful um, you know. Different fish bones. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Got it. God, ah, that's tough stuff. So you were, you were, uh, when I, as I was dreaming, I was, uh, usually I have pretty, uh, forgive the word, fucked up dreams. Yeah. Um, and in this dream was quite pleasant, but there was like a, oh, oh, like a lot of that in the dream. Do and you, so, so I put it were, together afterwards. You were sleeping while this happened. 
Yes, I see. Yes. Whilst I was this in happened. a deep slumber. I don't usually sleep that deep. Right. But the, well, on I the day s- when the first heat wave comes, usually I. And I can see you've got like almost a third degree burn on your face from just the sun. on the right side. On the right yeah. side, we yeah. got to make sure. I know you've wanted to give up the pup tent for a while, but I think maybe we still need some cover. Yeah. And you know, listen, hey, come and come and sleep in my uh, Harry Potter bedroom tonight. I appreciate that. You know, you're always welcome. To, I know. You know, I know it's been tense with I you and like Seth. I don't like to be tied down. I know, I know, but I'm just saying it's there for you. Listen, Seth's got his his stuff. I don't want to put temptation in his way. Seth, by the way, is coming to the live show. Just to put it out there, you're going to see him and you're going to be together. What do you mean? He's going to be on stage with. Why? You. He's not a performer. He's he not, wants to he's come not and support me. And be a part of the show. He hasn't been on in a while. He was on the last live show. Yeah, and he wants to do it again. We did he a had spotlight such a good on. time. Well, I don't he's not invited. Okay. I'm just saying he's coming, so you got a week to get ready for it. I got a week. All right, I'll prepare myself. Good oh, Lord. God. You got an ex in your life, Dr. Cotton? Uh an ex lover, an ex uh husband or wife that you that's tough to be around? Yeah, I know. I got my ex-wife, uh, Margarita. She lived back in Brooklyn, you know, mm-hmm. where we, where I started my Broadway career. But ever since I've been on the road and moved to Maria Del Rey, I haven't seen her much, you know. Mm-hmm. When, how yeah. long have you guys been divorced? About 40 years. <laughs> my, wow. you were how married old are very you? young. Again, with such white skin, you'd think he would have a lot of wrinkles, but nothing. Yeah. No. Not a wrinkle He's on He's always you. got on that beautiful hat. That's yeah, right. That my skin spats. looks like a top that's been yanked wide. That's right. Yeah. So 40 years. A what? A, t- a, a top, top that's been a yanked, yanked wide. wide. Oh, I thought you said top, and I was no, confused. No, a tarp. No, no. A no. tarp. <laughs> a tarp. Okay. And so... You, you were you were married young. Yeah. Yeah. Real young. Real young. 13. 13. 14. Wow. That was in Brooklyn, back in the days at, when Brooklyn, where you could get married at an 11. I see. Yeah, where are Brooklyn at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? Where oh, is Brooklyn at? Yeah, just, <laughs> just ex- doing a, a yeah. call out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, to mm-hmm. our Brooklyn listeners. Yeah, we have a lot of those. Yeah. yeah. Especially Brooklyn Broadway District. Yeah. So, uh... So Margarita and you, you, yeah. you, you, you split ways. Any children? Well, no, because we got divorced at 16. So oh, got it. You I didn't see, have time. We didn't have time now. But, you know, when you got a p- great passion, sometimes there's not enough room for passion and love in the same body. Wow. You know what I mean? And music, Broadway is my passion. Right. But also teaching. Mm-hmm. And also mm-hmm. teaching. Yeah. And and you never thought about getting married again. It's th- really because you put so much time into the choir. That's right. I think it's the kind of thing where I think once I make it, I'll have room for love. But I ain't made it yet. But I'm on my way now. Well, you're in, you're in your <laughs> where are you, 50s. Where are you? So you're going to want to start thinking about it because we don't live trying, forever. What does making it mean to you? I want to be the third lead of a play. The play. <laughs> lead. Like what? Like the friend? Like the not the not even the best friend. And not even but a like musical. The friend of the mm-hmm. Play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I well, want to be like, uh, like if I was to use Hamilton's the thing all the kids are talking about. Sure. Yes. I yes. want to be the Peggy of a Hamilton. The Peggy. <laughs> Aunt Peggy, that one. Aunt oh, Peggy. I've not seen the show. <laughs> Neither have I. Can you oh, believe boy. it? We might be the two people. Can in I the be whole honest? I also have not Sam. seen the show. <laughs> have you not seen it? Have, have you ever seen nobody Hamilton? Nobody's seen Hamilton. I have not. No yet. Okay, so nobody that here. Mean anything? We are America. Sam doesn't get out. Wait, you really haven't seen Hamilton? No. Oh, no. Why? We, we maybe we should mount Hamilton. Mount it. At Marina Del Rey <laughs> as a production. Oh. And then we could all learn together. Could be good. Yeah. Could be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I will tell you. Anything going on with you, hot, hot topics, topics wise? Hot wise. You know, uh, it's, spring is here, as you know, my favorite, favorite, favorite holiday. <laughs> holiday? <laughs> yes. It's the holiday season. Easter. Okay. Gets me going. Yeah. And I, I ride that chocolate egg fueled high yes. into into 4th of July. Got it. Um, and it's going to be, you know, pool. The pool's open. My community pool just opened this weekend. Great, great. And so I'm going to start having some get-togethers. Mm-hmm. Dr. Cotton, you're welcome. I'll come through. I'll look good in the swimsuit. I'm sure you do. I bet you do. Although, <laughs> I don't know if you want to get so much sun exposure. That's true. I have heard some really good things about the noises you make as you cannonball. Oh, yeah. 
Splash. <laughs> and, and you say splash. <laughs> and that's splash. Right. Also, it's hard for you because you don't want to get that perm wet. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this <laughs> isn't your natural texture. Is that correct? <laughs> no. Now that I'm getting close on it. Uh, yeah, I do a salon session a couple times a week. <laughs> a couple times a week? Yeah. That's because you can't get that kinky, Ooh, tight you curl. You think a tight curl like this happens natural on a white man? Not on a white man, it doesn't. <laughs> it does no, not. sir. Well, we got, we'll get you a bathing cap. Uh, we would love to have you down to the pool. So, yeah, I, you know, and listen, the prom is coming up, and mm. next week... Uh, on the live show, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be asking for submissions. Uh, people are going to be filming their prom, prom proposals, and I'm going to pick who I'm going right. to bring. And now, this particular podcast will air the day after we record that. Okay. So it's too late to too submit. Late. <laughs> Hopefully, you were paying attention on Twitter and you got your submissions in. I but know that that's it coming out. next week. <laughs> okay. You will be able to hear that next week. All right. right? And, you know, I'm a, I'm... I'm imagining there's going to be a lot of drama. Now, you've been in the audience for a lot of American Idol selections, and mm. you know how it is mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how people's, you know, hopes and dreams can either be made mm -hmm. or shattered. And, you know, obviously, Gutterballs mm. is not invited to the live show. Um, so, you know, is he going to hear about this? Is it going to, you know, is he going to show up in the audience and make a scene? Well, I invited him. What? I invited him. Why? What do you mean? Because he, he works for me. No, need, no, 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 no. I need no. the support. I need it to be my night. Too late. Okay, well, I'm going to uninvite him. Uninvite Seth, and, and then I'll uninvite <laughs> gutter balls. We really need to get m more men in our lives because this is just really, I can't uninvite my Dr. stepdad. Cotton. Dr. Cotton is, hey, a, nah, is, a man, hey, nah. is a man in, that I would love to have in my life at all times. As would I. Listen, what the fuck? Why are you going to ruin my prom proposal? I'm not ruining anything. Okay? Why does he have to come to the live He's show? He's working the levels. That's it. That's it. He's promised he won't say one <sighs> word. Okay? Great. I've also heard that Kareem might be there. What? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Are I, you guys back in touch? I just heard it. I know you've stocked your mini fridge full of all of his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Lebanon. You've referenced the midi, the Middle, Middle Eastern, Eastern cheese food. that you keep yeah. for him. But like, I didn't know he'd come. He well, he, he might not. So well, there's a lot I of guess question we'll have marks. To wait and see. All right, a lot of question marks here. At any rate, I'm not going to let that bother me. I'm excited to see what happens if my body gets ripped from limb to limb, if my clothes, if men become so sexually aroused yeah. that they rip off my clothes, right. you know, and I'm bruised the next day, right. then so be it. I'm Can gonna I let it ask happen. a question? Absolutely, Dr. What would your ideal proposal be? You know? <sighs> God. Have you ever thought about that? That's a good that? question. That's funny. You know, I've never... God, and you know, I've been doing a lot of my affirmations, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's something I need to be doing is saying, I'm not going to wait for the universe to bring me something. Let's manifest it. Mm -hmm. I would say if I could combine the scene in Notting Hill mm -hmm. where she comes in... You know, you're familiar, yes? Yeah. Where she comes into the bookstore. Standing mm -hmm. in the front of a girl. Exactly. Yeah. That, if I could combine... That, when Jerry Maguire comes in to the um, self-help group, the moms. Mm -hmm. Add me up, hello. Exactly that. And Bridget Jones, when she's standing in the snow with Colin Firth and the snow's coming down and she's not wearing any pants. I'm Bridget Jones. It's cold out here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's her inner monologue. <laughs> if I could combine all those three. Mm. That, so it's a classic romantic comedy. It's a classic romantic comedy. Exactly. Okay. God noted. We'll, exactly. We'll tweet that out because, again, we're asking for these submissions and they will have already been aired by the time this is aired. So, so this really is so this not is helpful, unhelpful. to people. Yeah. You know what? Let's go to break. Mm -hmm. All right. When we come back, Dr. Cotton is going to tell us what's cheesing him. You want to sing us out to break? Give him some tips. I would love to. Mm -hmm. Going on break, we'll be back. Going out on break, but we'll be back now. Going out on break, but we'll be back now. See you on the other side, Dr. Cotton. <laughs> Dr. Cotton! Hey, Juan! 
Mobsters, if you haven't heard Wolverine, The Long Night, Marvel's first scripted podcast ever, you're missing out. Now, truth be told, when I heard a tease of this, it scared the loving shit out of me. Well, everything scares the loving shit out of you. But in a good way. Well, the first seven episodes of this show are really amazing. And if you start now, you'll end up just binge listening to the whole thing just in time for the finale. If you like the first season of True Detective... It's a lot like that. Not the second season. That's right. Second season was a piece of shit. <laughs> the show follows two special agents investigating a string of murders deep in Alaska. At first, they suspect Logan, a stranger with claws. You know the guy, Wolverine. But between a night-worshipping cult and a shady police force, things get a lot more complicated. The podcast stars Richard Armitage. He is incredible as Wolverine, with Scott Adsit from 30 Rock and Otto s and from Altered Carbon. Plus more appearances from people like comedian Chris Gethard. Marvel's Wolverine, The Long Night, is available exclusively on Stitcher Premium. To listen now, go to wolverinepodcast.com and use the code MARVEL at checkout to get your first month free. What the fuck is this, Beetlejuice? It's Shaka Khan. It's all oh. been Shaka Khan. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Give if me anybody what you want. <laughs> was going to do a promposal for me, I would want it to be this. I would want someone to aggressively straddle me, look at me dead in the eyes, singing Shaka Khan and Rufus. Wow. And then I would want them to say, find something. And then I would go on a dig. Have you taken have- you to prom? Yeah! Bow, 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 bow. Hey, have you shared that with Kareem? No, because I haven't spoken to him since uh, since I found out he had another family and he fled. Well, it might be something to share with him what your what your expectations are for his visit. What what good could come of that? Him meeting your expectations if you don't put it out there and share it. Well, and- if I see his face, if he shows up. Sounds like you're setting yourself up to be disappointed. No. What Yet it, again, not what, risking anything. If I'm not speaking to someone, how am I to communicate with them wh- what my wants and needs are? I don't know. You have ways. You're able to BA Barakas yourself all over the world, and that's, yet you can't get a, to the one person that you love the most? Let's not get crazy here, okay? I have a son named August Wilson, who I love more than anything in the world. And I also don't speak to him, okay? That's, that's really sad. I think it's fine. (laughs) It's not coming out of that sound, Dr. Cotton. (laughs) Coming out of her mouth. (laughs) Right out of her vagina. She cries. That's how guttural it is. Ooh, that came out of your taint. (laughs) That came (laughs) taint-wise. Just wait for it. See? Isn't that nice? When you peel away the anger, look at that sorrow that's underneath that tender spot that we just touched. I don't care for that at all. Why? I used to have to do that silently in a, in a desert field. <laughs> Why did you have to be silent? Well, I was on duty sniping. Oh, you know? I see. And you can't bring attention to yourself. You're out there and, you, you know, you get emotion. You're human. You're feeling the sorrow of the years coming. And I would have to do it like that, you know, on a, in a desert field, undercover, in all fatigues, the color of the desert, with a right. sheet on top of me, the color of the desert. With a gun, the color of the desert. Uh, my skin, the color of the desert. What is this? The fucking English patient? And the, <laughs> Get to the point. And that's it. But it you seems know? like you had many different layers hiding your pain. Yeah. And well, she still does. I envy mm. you, Dr. Cotton, because you could just tell my soul that gun. You have an expression. Oh. You have yeah. an expression. You have a way to express yourself that's safe, that's valid, that people want to listen to. You know? So do you. It's called this podcast. Sure, sure. You got all these I'm people here listening you. and surrounding you. I'm here no, to support stop you. Stop supporting me and, and support yourself. And seen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's time, everybody, for a segment. Explain it to him. Called What's Cheesing You. Now, before we get into it, Dr. Cotton, I don't know if you're familiar. This is, and this is interesting. This is Listler's favorite because it's about anger. Mm. Okay? It's about what's pissing you off. Okay? It can be as small as, you know, 
they were out of sweet and low. Okay? And as big as I don't like the way I'm treated as a white man who talks like an African American man. Yeah. Okay? Anything in between, all right? We're all going to take our turn. Does that sound good? Sounds great to me. All right. So we'll get ready for that. What she's a do? What she's a do? What? What? What she's a do? What she's a do? What she's a do? What? What? What she's a do? That's Put good. the microphone up against the pants. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. How did that feel? How did that feel? It felt okay, actually. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. All right. So, what's cheesing you, Dr. Cotton? Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'd love to go first. I got some Gouda Gouda that I want to share. You got Gouda? Yeah. Cheese? Oh, got it. Gouda Gouda. It's okay, got it. Gouda. Got it. You good. <laughs> you with me now. I'm with, with me you. now. Stay a hot man. Okay. <laughs> Now, you know, when I was on my way here to this podcast, I left Tracy in charge, as we discussed as earlier, we discussed. right? But before I left her in charge, I gotta tell you, the lack of respect I was getting from my class yes. was insane. You know what I said to them? I says, you got a lot of audacity sticking swords in my stomach while I'm trying to teach you what I know. But they were not listening to me. That is a... Now, choir teachers... Oh, Jesus, Let reference. me just say is that this. correct? Yeah, sure. <laughs> choir teachers <laughs> having nervous breakdowns mm -hmm. publicly is absolutely mm -hmm. something that happens almost universally. I yeah. think we can all remember a time Fine. when our choir teacher went bananas. Bananas. Broke a xylophone. Uh -huh. Flipped out. Mm -hmm. You know, and because there's a lot of chances mm -hmm. for kids to misbehave, for yeah. talking. Everybody's for, standing. There's right. fingers going up skirts. There's exactly. people on risers. People passing out. People passing out. A lot of time. African drums to be goofed around mm -hmm. with. That's right. We got djembes. We, we got, got the other ones. <laughs> Dimbales. Dimbales. Djembes and the other ones. Mm -hmm. they're, they're animal skins tightly taut, much mm -hmm. like your skin. Much like my skin. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I yeah was there's always somebody that ha that gets to do the percussion that doesn't have to sing always always now what is it that you want <clears throat> what did you want to communicate to what do you want to see when you walk back into that choir room today i want to see the proper respect for the art of music and i want to mm -hmm. see them respect my career prior to this oh they don't that's what it know. is they don't know. I said, you got a lot of audacity sticking hot knobs in my thighs while I'm trying to teach you what I know. Is that a Pontius Pilate reference? What? I don't know the hot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the, did the they do that hot. to Jesus? They probably no, did. Not into his thighs. Are you sure? Yeah, I think <laughs> thighs just rhymed. I'm not sure. So... Your ego was involved. Is that right? Your it's ego got involved. Very, Your it's, ego, because you've given up a lot I to have. not be living in the city, yeah. to be living out here in Marina Del Rey. You're putting all of your energy, much like Listler is, shaping a young mind, mm. getting them to get to the, to, so they can pursue their dreams. But what about mm. Dr. Cotton's well, what dreams? What about Mana? Exactly. It's what like, about me knock? <laughs> what about now. me knock? Now. Oh, me knock. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like, <laughs> if you're going to Cardi B it up, you need to know how to say nah. I don't know what. I didn't know if it was. Nicky mm -hmm. <laughs> I had Cardi B in my class. What? what? I should tell you that now. She, now, she grew up in the Bronx. <laughs> we know that. This, so you, you she, taught back then, there? Back then, oh, she was in my class. Oh, my God. Before I moved to Marina Del Rey, That's I had right. Cardi B. This or is as before I, she got her teeth fixed. Yep. Before or as she I was know stripping. her, Cardinal Bones. <laughs> Cardinal Bones. <laughs> she has been trying out all kinds of names. Cardinal Bones right. was her, the Bones family <laughs> of yeah. the Bronx. And then she shortened mm -hmm. it to Cardi B. Right, that's right. 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 And 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 what and when you saw her, did were you did you see a diamond in the rough as you have so frequently here at Marina Del Rey? Mm -hmm. uh, it pains me to say that I missed it. You missed it. My eyes were too focused on my own career at that wow, point to okay. see what was right in front of me, which was challenging the next generation to become what they could be. Do you feel like this is your divine path? 
I don't want to turn this into Oprah Super Soul Sunday mm-hmm. podcast, which you know we've been we've been streaming mm-hmm. almost we do like current, it. you know, do like it every moment of the mm-hmm. day. But do you feel like this is what you've been put on the earth to do? Can I be honest? I was starting to feel that way. And then this goddamn class this morning where they had a lot of audacity sticking hot grits in my tits. <laughs> I'm trying to teach you what I know. Hot grits in the tits. That's got to burn. That's got to burn. What was there one thing they did? Whew. That really cheesed you. What's the one? Did did one student do something, or or did somebody say something that really triggered you? Yeah. Because you're known for your calm countenance demeanor, and your demeanor, and your real positive. You you were known online as the yeah. one choir mm-hmm. teacher that had never lost it. Yeah. Right. It was. Donnie Michelson licking my steel drum that sent me over the edge. My God. Well, Donnie's got problems. He's a- <laughs> Donnie had looking for a high around every Every corner. corner. He's sniffing and licking everything (laughs) he can get his hands on. Were you guys doing a steel drum version of something? Yeah, we were doing the steel drum version of Kelly Clarkson's Breakaway. I love it. And all he needed to do. American Idol. Uh, That's right. Contestants that have gone on to greater success, and then you you take their songs and mm-hmm. you twist it and yes. break away. Yes. Do, 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 Wait, now that sounds like it's from <laughs> the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. So it was a mashup. It was now, a mashup. And yeah. all he the had reggae. to do was just mm-hmm. do a couple different just percussion beats, and instead you found him licking. It. <laughs> I found him licking it, and I said, "God damn it, that is disrespect." Yeah. Sit your ass down, Donnie mm. Michelson. Mm. Well, Donnie's got a tough home life. He does. He does. His two moms uh, are very, on very... Off and, on and off On again. and off and on and off. Uh, and mm-hmm. um, so he's shuttling in between, mm-hmm. you know, two different condos, and that's tough stuff for yeah. him. So I think we should... And also, he was he was born, I think but there I, was some sort of a... We don't know what happened. Let's leave it there. There was a cord wrapped around <laughs> okay, a couple we don't different know. things. We don't so know Donnie's, what happened. Yeah, working with um, But, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So what did you end up doing? Well, you... I, I just screamed a lot, and then yeah. I left mm-hmm. Tracy in charge. And yeah. so they don't know when you're coming back. They don't know when I'm coming back. And that's good. Serves them right. They're it does. stewing right now like a hot gumbo. They're not allowed to leave the classroom. They don't mm-hmm. know what's going on. Here, you know, you had what I like to call mm-hmm. a mom's on strike moment. That's exactly You know, we've all right. been there. I haven't actually because my mom doesn't ever do anything like cook or clean or touch me. But for those people who have moms mm-hmm. who do those things, mm-hmm. they hit a moment where they say, you know what? Everybody can go fuck themselves. You figure it That's out. That's right. Good luck getting on American Idol singing slave hymnals without Gregory Cotton in exactly, your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Gotta have cotton in your Woo! mouth. All right. Well, listen, I'm hoping they turn it around. I think they will. Although Donnie, you know, did any of it get through to him? I'm not sure. Is He's probably at... He's got cotton in his ears instead of his mouth. Could he be. does. It's a real get-out situation. <laughs> it is a get-out situation. So you rarely, see that movie? So rare. <laughs> I, I did see that film. Okay, okay. Yes, I did see Fair that enough. film. I have not Why, seen Why do they put cotton in the ears? Because their brains are coming out? Liquid? No, to keep the crazy white people from... <laughs> From influencing them. Oh, I Remember see. Remember when he's in the chair? Get it? Got it? Got it? So they really do have cotton in there? Literally. That was a big spoiler alert. Oop, you yep. told me you saw it. That's interesting. Lied. <clears throat> Too scary for me. It's a great movie now. I've been telling everyone I love it. It's interesting that you would connect to that film, being a white man. <laughs> it's like a reverse. Well, You're I'm like writing the musical reverse. version of Get Out. You're writing the musical wow. version. Right. Unauthorized. Yeah. <laughs> well, love it. <clears throat> Jordan unauth- is my friend as well. I see. Okay. I see. Unauthorized. <laughs> Still unauthorized. Still unauthorized. He's asked <laughs> yeah. you to please not stop, do it. He said, please yeah. cease and desist. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you're still going to do it. I'd love it if there's any roles for me. Mm-hmm. Of course. You know? Yeah. I can do get out. Get out of this house. <laughs> I love it. I'm a white person controlling your brains. <laughs> what else do you think that movie is about? <laughs> get out of this house. <laughs> Go ahead. Guy comes. Keep singing, though, please. Keep singing. It's, it's, a, it's a hotel. A musical. It's, it's a, a musical. hotel. And they bring him in, and he's like, hmm, it's where are all these? It's a hotel, and they bring him in. Hello, I'd like to check into yeah. this hotel. But and, get out. Get out of get this house. Get out of the house. And the white people have 
have uh, African American people's brains inside of them. Ooh. And they're using their skin. What are they using their skin they're for? They're eating their skin. They're, they're eating their skin. skin. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> So he has to get out before they take his brain and put it in an old in an old white person. Mm -hmm. I'd like to check out before you put my brain in, in, in an, an old, old person. Life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't want my skin to be eating. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's take a break. <laughs> will you do what's cheesing me? You, you don't have time. All right. You want to sing us out of, of this? Of course. Every time. <laughs> all you need to hear is a couple chords. You got a lot of audacity. Tears sticking, screws in my bruise. You got a lot of audacity, squirting dirt in my hurt while I'm trying to teach you what I know. All right, we'll be back after these messages. Woo! What a ride. What the fuck is this? You don't know this? No. It's Sister Act. <laughs> right. Sister Act. I should always just assume it's Sister Act. Let me skip to Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill was in Sister Act? Oh, yes. That's how she began? She was a young nun? Ooh, that's good. This is, this is actually the boy, though. All right. I'd love to hear you just scroll through an entire album. That makes for great podcasting. You know what? What? You can go fuck yourself. Okay. We'll be back with more Wop It Up. What's up, Wobsters? A brand new season of one of my fave podcasts, Raised by TV, is available in your podcast app right now. In season two, John Gabris and Lauren Lapkus, who is a friend of this show, are back talking about more of the TV shows and memorable characters that warp their minds. Raised by TV is the show where John and Lauren revisit the best and worst TV of the late 80s and the early 90s. Everything from game shows and TGIF to Oprah and cereal commercials. And this season, they covered the beloved Nickelodeon late-night block, Snick. Interesting. And angsty teen shows like Freaks and Geeks. Plus, they're joined by some new guests like Scott Aukerman. Listen to Raised by TV now and subscribe on Apple Podcast Stitcher or your favorite podcast app. You won't be sorry. You know what would be great? is if you could work on, like, a dance routine to a Shaka Khan song, we could do it live. Right? Right? What if, what if Kareem sees that? What, at the live performance? Yeah. I think on a podcast that will go really well. A live dance performance. <laughs> hey, it's for the people who come to the show. What if I did a live harmonica solo? Something. It's something to think about. You know what I've been thinking about is doing a jukebox musical based on the music of Shaka Khan. When I look at you, I gotta learn the words, and then I'd be ready to go. What do you think about that, Doctor Khan? I love it. Maybe you could just make up the words as you go. Yeah, that's what everybody else does, right? You know, Doctor Cotton, do you teach private lessons? Sure. Because mm. I would like to purchase a couple for Listler because I really think Me? yes, because I think you need this outlet. I think you're, listen, seals are stealing your chicken bones and, and your fish bones, and I feel like you need, you've been begging for this type of artistic expression. Could I purchase a couple? Of course. You know, just for, I've had so much fun here today. I'll give you four lessons for free four 99. Four lessons oh, for I'll tell free. you what, I won't be messing around and putting any grits in your tilts. Oh, <laughs> I really appreciate won't. that. As long Already as you're motivated. In uh, your blimps. <laughs> no shrimps in my blimps? Hey, yeah, no. Nah. Hey, no. Um, well, guys, this has been a, this has been a lot of fun. We've got I don't this, even know where we are at. You're wrapping it up, no? Nope. Because <laughs> we just came into the third nope. segment, so we're gonna do Listler's Love Lockdown. Okay, great. And then we're gonna get right into Spotlight. Hey, on. what's the update on our two lovebirds, Doctor Cotton? You probably don't know mm. about this, but we had two listeners mm -hmm. who passed each other on the street in Arlington. Virginia, Virginia. Mm -hmm. and she thought that this guy was looking really good, and she didn't know what to do, and he was listening to his husband, and she said, what's, 
in your you, earbuds or something or what? Yeah, to anything good? Good. And he said, "I'm whomping it up." No way. And so they have reached out, <gasps> and so we've put yeah. them together. We just connected them yesterday. I don't know, think we should have waited that long. What do you mean? The passion was hot. One of them may have met somebody by now. Why did we wait this long? A whole week? I'm sorry. Do you want to be take charge of everything? I don't know how to type. Give me time. To have a voice lesson, why don't you take some of my emails, friend? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing story, though, for real. It's truly amazing, and we have said that if they get together really that, and they are we they going to make it official, we will officiate the wedding. Uh, we have said we mean that. that. We Way have to not that. put any pressure on a fledgling <laughs> relationship. <laughs> I said to them, when I connected them, I said, and I meant it, no pressure. <laughs> They could start with a coffee. I mean, there we'll is see what all happens. the pressure in the world because that's no. never happened to us. And 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 I have it my ego have. involved in this. It I have, have my happened. ego involved in this. Mm. That'd be a great story. So all the pressure in the world, if it doesn't work out, we are going to be sorely disappointed. Uh, the listeners will be sorely disappointed. So please bring your A game. Let's manscape. You know, before this this date, do you manscape? Of course, Dr. Nah, I got, I got, you know, because I go to the salon, but I don't just do the upstairs. You know, I also perm the downstairs. I perm it and then you I shave it. Perm it, <laughs> and then you shave it all off. Yeah, I want the, I want curly balls, and then I want them smooth. But I want to be able to feel growth and change. I want to be able to track the progression. But if you go right to the smooth, then you don't know where it was that you came from. There we go. There <laughs> You know, we Oprah go. has a book of her Sunday wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Dr. Cotton, I'm going to start writing mm -hmm. some stuff down. You should. Because this could make a great coffee table book. Yeah. A great coffee table <laughs> All book. All right, here we go. All right. This is going to be Listler's Love Lockdown. This is where <laughs> listeners are writing in with their love questions, life questions, and we weigh in, and we'd love for you to weigh in as well, of Dr. Course. Cotton. All right. Our first letter comes from Kate. Ladies, I'm squawking at you from NYC, longtime listener, and moved to tears by today's extra episode. I love how many dudes call. She's referring to our extra, you know, bonus yeah. episodes of, lo of behind where the we paywall. just do a listener's love lockdown segment. Yeah, there's four up right now behind the paywall, although you can get a month free on Stitcher with uh, promo code WOMP. So she says, so I need some practical advice list. I am engaged since last June. Okay. To a sweet and fun and wonderful nurse that I adore, and we don't have a date set for the wedding. I am getting a lot of guff from my future mother-in-law, mm. and I am feeling overwhelmed and pressured to do some big fancy wedding that we can't afford and really nope. don't want. No! We are 30. <laughs> I just want a sweet, intimate wedding and a forever marriage. And you will have it. She thinks there needs to be at least 150 to 200 invited to some Pinterest explosion wedding. Come on, man. I should also note I have bad anxiety and get panic attacks and feel like a wedding would likely make me anxious as shit. Ugh. Also worth noting we are paying for this ourselves. Oh, my God. Rent our apartment, lease our car. You get it. We are cash poor despite being rich in love. I love her and want to be loved by her. Her, but I'm also a grown ass woman, and this is our wedding. Help me follow my heart, Marisler. You've been inspiring to me to womp up the jams for years, and thank you for being badass, funny, complicated women to listen to. Have you seen Playing House? You'd like it. It's the best. Hashtag authentic. First of all, can I tell you what? Kate! Cheesing me? Can I do a what's cheesing me? Yes, you may. When people tell you how to live your best mm -hmm. life, you know what? If that mother-in-law wants to get married so bad, go ahead and throw your own goddamn wedding. And you know what? Guilt will get us to do all sorts of stupid shit. We've all been there. We've all done things. Here, Oprah, right? Yeah. Oprah's all about some book, some book I will never be able to read because I don't, I've forgotten how to read now I'll that I'm in the Stars Academy. It's called The Seed of the Soul. And her point is your intent when you go into something affects the outcome. So if your intent is I don't want to do this, this doesn't feel good to me, mm, you will have a bad time. Here's what I'll say. And that's your wedding. And you need to have a good ass time. Number one, 
you have found the love of your life. You've and already that is won. all that matters, okay? So you can move forward. You can I was just going to say, because Dr. Cotton's also crying. <laughs> I, I, I think that mother-in-law's got a lot of audacity <laughs> sticking wet combs in my bones while she's just trying to get married. <laughs> Here's the other thing I'll say. As an adult woman, as you move into this adult relationship with this woman's adult child, it is now that you begin setting the boundaries for the rest of your relationship. If you can define for her a place, a role that will make her feel good, but also get the result that you want. Yeah, like take out the trash, bitch! What, is, <laughs> what was that? Was that Cardi B? <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> So you can say, mother-in-law, why don't you take out that my will be trash? Ineffective. For instance, maybe Ugh. maybe what the mother-in-law wants is to share this beautiful relationship with all of her friends. And if that's the case, you can tell her, you know what? For us, we're going to do a small intimate wedding. If you want to have a party, an engagement party that you pay for, in your town, we Go will come and dance. I don't want to be in charge of it. For what I want for my wedding is this. But it is tough. I will say, it is tough it is to tough. stand firm in your truth. Yes. Hashtag authentic. But if you and your partner come to her with a united front, there is nothing that she'll be able to do faced with that kind and of you love. Say it, And you <laughs> say it. And you say it. Oh, God. Hold it now. <laughs> Look. When I was married at 14 years old, I think these were the mistakes that we made. Is we did right? not communicate because we were teenagers. Did you have a big wedding? We did. We had 700 people. <laughs> That's a lot of wow. people. <laughs> Almost all of Brooklyn. All of Brooklyn. Oh, wow. It was crazy. It was a cool wedding. But if you were to get married again, mm -hmm. what would you do differently? Three people on a bus to Canada. <laughs> That sounds like a good time. Who's the third person? It's you, the person you're marrying, and who else? The bus driver? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Someone's got to drive that bus. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Well, well, God, they're inspiring. Listen, I'd love to hear an update later on how that conversation went. Please let us know. Um, all right, we're not going to do any more questions because we're running out of Why? time, and I want to make sure we get to you know the real the real truth of the matter here, which is. Spotlight on. That's right. All right. All okay. right. But send us your questions, everybody, please, at wapupthejams.com. We'll do our best to get back in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. um, Time for Spotlight on? Yeah. All right. I'm just looking for the Dr. Cotton, this is why song. you came. Why don't you go ahead and start, and I'll This is why you came. All right? Everything happens for a reason. And there's a reason that Donnie Michelson, Donnie Michaels? What's his like? I, I think, think it's Michael Michelson. Michelson. Donnie Michelson. Donnie Michelson, Donnie Michelson mm -hmm. licked that steel drum today, and that mm -hmm. was to get you into our loving arms so that we could peel away the layers, but not too many, sure. because your skin is thin. It is it thin, is white and it is and taut. Thin. Strip me down. You look like slim, good body. Do you remember that guy used to wear his organs <laughs> on the outside, a suit, sure, and yeah. you could see his organs? That's what you look like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're not gonna we're not gonna peel too deep. No, you might hit my heart. Because I might hit your heart. <laughs> but this is a little segment called Spotlight on, uh, and I'm just gonna you know just get ask you some questions to really find out what makes you tick. Perfect. I'm a Broadway performer, very comfortable in the spotlight. Now that is interesting to me mm. because one might say you're more comfortable performing, being somebody other than who you are deep down inside. Mm. And what, what do you do when you're all alone and there's no audience? I don't think I've ever thought about it that way. Because, you know, I, I live stream every personal moment that I have at and, home. And I know you do, and we love your Instagram stories. For sure. But maybe it's the, the pain that I'm feeling, and the reason I snapped on my class is because I have not had the cause to be comfortable with just me. What does your voice sound like when you're not speaking to anybody? Hello? It's me, Greg Cotton. Oh, no. Oh. Hi. I don't know why I did this. Um, 
I guess if I were to just be stripped down, this is oh, what I sound like. This is horrible. You've got a lot of audacity sticking pins in my limbs okay, okay, okay. while I'm trying to teach you what I know. This is me. This is me. All right, now we're back to Cotton. Cotton's back. <laughs> Cotton's back. The audience is there. Let's now never we know do that again. We oh, know God. what's underneath. Hey, nah, hey, nah. Oh, I'm back that now. feels better. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> Did you peel the back? Did you like what you saw? I didn't. Sometimes I the didn't. onion is rotten underneath. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you've had it in your fridge for too long. It started to sprout That's something. Right. And it's all liquid under there. <laughs> Don't ever 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 do that to He's anybody ever again. Soft little piece of jelly and I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. He's a soft <laughs> little piece of jelly, and I hate him. Now, I don't think we need to hate that person. We just don't need to ever let him speak again. Okay? <laughs> what would you say to 11-year-old Dr. Cotton, you know, standing there on the altar, getting ready to get married, <laughs> What would just you say to him from just days rent. away from auditioning for the role of Rent and then losing that part? <laughs> and that was because well of your before ethnicity. Rent was, that was a mm-hmm. workshop production of Rent, I'm sure of it. If it was a workshop sounds production. Sounds like it was 45 years ago. <laughs> so that's right. He mm-hmm. was in also in middle school that's probably. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what would you tell him about what was to come for you? I guess I would say that You know, love takes many forms, and the love of this teenage girl across from you is maybe not the love that you need right now. Mm. You need you, the theater, and that's it. And then love will come later. You know, because if I would have done that, I think I could have made it by 25 and then truly had room for love Mm. now. I want a family, but instead I got Donnie Michelson (laughs) licking my steel. And I'm not happy. I think maybe what's been happening is that you're putting the self-love that you cannot give to yourself and to all of these other children as they go on to greater success. I and listen, that's, that's right. doing a great job for these kids. Sure is. Again, we have more uh, platinum-selling <laughs> artists yes. coming out of Marina Del Rey yes. than any other high yes. school yes. in the country and or yes. the world. They are reviving slave hymnals as a genre. They are. Mm-hmm. But where does that leave Dr. Cotton? That leaves me going to the salon twice a week to perm my balls. <laughs> exactly. And that's not, not anywhere anyone wants to be. So today is the first day of the rest of our lives. Okay. So please keep the mask and the voice of the mask on. Keep that on. Keep that because that is <laughs> working for you. I don't want you, you walking that out of here thinking hashtag you. authentic <laughs> means you should go back to that voice. No, no, no. Nobody likes that. But... Girl. What are we going to do for Dr. Cotton? You know, maybe it's as simple as going out on a date. Ooh! Anybody you have your eye on at school? At school? Yeah. I mean, another faculty member. Not a kid. Not a kid. Another faculty member. And it shouldn't be Tracy. It shouldn't be Tracy. Yeah, correct. No. I mean, I do. She is my number two, but it should not be her. (laughs) What does that mean? It's, I mean, I'll leave that? her in charge when oh, I go. Right, got you know. it. Oh, I thought you meant choice. like you had No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, let's let it. Tracy graduate if, yes. if ever anything's going to develop. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. But okay. who, you got it, your eye on anyone? Well, this, you know, the calculus teacher, Miss. Mm, uh, interesting. Miss. Miss. Miss Robeson? Miss Robeson. Uh, she has a black man's name. <laughs> <laughs> so that, maybe that makes sense. Maybe if we got married, I could take her name, and then people would still be confused when <laughs> I show up. And yes! You already have the last name Cotton. 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 So, <laughs> that's right. Now, Very I like black. this idea. Do we know what her relationship status is? Is she a fan I mean, of your Instagram stories? I saw her getting into her Miata alone the other day, so I think... All right. Well, we can do some intel yeah. and find out, and maybe if you continue to focus on yourself mm-hmm. and what you need... You're saying she might like me before I make it. She knows what you look like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's ever heard you sing or speak, so that might be an extra added positive layer. I I sing at her every time we're in the Mm -hmm. break room together. Do you? There you go. And what does she do? What do you do? What do you sing to her? And what is... I sing math-related songs at her. Really? Yep. See, that 
I love cute. that. That's cute Thank as shit. You, right? And does she love it? She does. She giggles. She giggles. This is it. Game on. Game but then on. I say, I have to go to rehearsal. I can't talk to you anymore. Nope, see? And, and there yeah. we there's go. There's a wall coming up. Hiding there's a wall in coming your up heart. and down. Okay. That's right. So what if you were to ask her out on a date, mm -hmm. and that's the one night of that week you're not going to be rehearsing? You're not wow. going to be having the kids over, you know, to run through their... Their songs. I would warrant you don't even talk about music, like as in the music you're working on at school. That's right. Wow. You play her maybe a, an album that you feel like speaks to who you are from when you were a child, not mm. what you're thinking about for the spring production. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. See, it's making you uncomfortable. It is. We're pushing you into, you know, deep water here. Deep, mm -hmm. deep water. Will you keep us informed? I, I will write to Love Lockdown and keep you informed. I like that. I all right. like that. <laughs> and, and you're always welcome in this Between and Betwixt the Stack. And listen, I want to hear what you're working on with Listler in terms of, I'd love to get her into a higher register. Right? Why? Just, I know you can really, she can do I mean, those low notes. I mean, I have a full range. Sure, I have an sure. incredible range. Well, I'm interested to see what you'll be, what's the first song you're going to be working with her on, do you think? Oh, uh, it's going to be just the two of us. <laughs> Will Smith and. Oh, well, the Will Smith version. <laughs> yeah, Great. Not the original. All right. Yeah. Great. Not the bill. Okay, got yeah. it. I can't wait. Dr. Cotton, you are bringing so much love and life into Marina Del Rey. And uh, I know Kelly Clarkson is thankful for having met you. Indeed, I know nah. I know Cardi B, even mm -hmm. though you were unable to, sh was shaped by you. You know. Okra. Okra. Justin Guarini, mm -hmm. he's doing great, mm -hmm. too. He's doing great. <laughs> and the one who sings, had a bad day, you're gonna know. Who's that one? Uh, uh, Turn it around. Uh, no. You did him too, right? Right, sure. It was not Clay Aiken, but it might as well have been. Might as well. You know? Jonathan Groban. Oh, is uh, that uh, it? Maybe He's Josh Groban. <laughs> Jonathan Groban. That's his older brother. Oh, right, yeah. What a piece of shit that what guy was. A, oh, true. Right. Wobsters, thank you so much for joining us on this musical adventure. We so appreciate your time. <laughs> What's happening, Sam? Can I say thank you for having me, by the oh, way? Hey, working. Doctor. No, hey, Sam. Working. <laughs> this right. is the first gonna, day of the rest of your life. There is no dress rehearsal. So we're just going to have to. What are you talking have to, about? There's it's not, not working. working. So we're just going to have to sing it out. This okay? is unacceptable. Ready? Can you sing Womp It Up the Jam? Hell yeah. Okay. Five, six, seven, seven, seven eight. Dum, dum, dum. Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, host of Comedy Bang Bang, and um, thanks for listening to this show. And I want to tell you, I have a, a great episode of my show, Comedy Bang Bang, uh, floating around out there, uh, out there in the internet. Our good friend John Hamm, the madman himself, he's out uh, talking about his new movie Beirut, and uh, we have uh, Paul F. Tompkins and Jess McKenna and Zach Reno from the Off Book Podcast. It was a really fun time, and it's a good episode. So uh, go check it out. You can subscribe to Comedy Bang Bang on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or wherever. Honestly, you want to. I'm not. I'm not here to tell you where to do it. Or I guess I just did. Anyway, Comedy Bang Bang John Ham this week. Check it out. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Hey everybody, it's Paul Shear. And I'm Amy Nicholson. And we have a brand new podcast called Unspooled, Unspooled, where we are watching the 100 greatest films of all time. Voted on by the AFI. We're going to be starting at number one, Citizen Kane, jumping to number 100 with Ben-Hur, and doing films that we've never even watched before. And we'll be talking to experts, whether it's a cinematographer or a stuntman. We're going to get behind these movies and figure out what makes them so great. So if you like the way this sounds, why don't you subscribe right now to Unspooled, wherever you listen to your podcasts.